Good evening. Hope you guys are having a good day. It is beautiful here today. Cloudy though. Starting to get a little, starting to cloud over a little bit. I think we might begin to get some rain in the next few days maybe. I don't know. Feels like it. Kind of feels like it. Um, I'm going to come in here and check the greenhouse real quick and then I need to go down the hill and check the chickens. Just do a good check outside. Oh, and I think that it is probably time to separate some seeds. Let's look. Now I showed you all these seeds uh, several days back and you can see they're starting to separate. Like the seeds are on the bottom and all the gooey stuff's on the top. So I'm gonna skim the surface of those Strain these through my strainer, clean them off, and then let them go through the drying process. It's not too hot in here today. 86. My fan literally just cut off when I walked in here. So yeah, it doesn't feel so hot. But when the clouds are out, it definitely cools it off in here. And everything looks like it's doing good. Got a lot of new growth on my little tomato plant. And look at that, my lettuce is popping up. So that's super cool, I've got two of them up here. So putting them in the shade helped. Look, I got me a cover from my pellet stove. <clears throat> so this thing, this is actually a grill cover. So I think it'll help in here whenever, you know, we've got humid environment going on, we don't want the stove to like rust. So when I'm not using it, I'm gonna keep this cover on it. I think it'll work out pretty good. Now the goal this weekend is to work on this wall while my husband is out there working on his woodshed. He might need my help. I don't know. I can go out there and help him while I'm doing this too. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to get around to it tomorrow. I'm going to paint, spruce it up, move things around, make a spot for my pellets that I have in here. I don't know. We're just going to make it cute. I think I'm going to decorate for Halloween too. I'd like to do like a Halloween theme. Maybe like out in my yard too. I thought about doing like a little cemetery or something. I thought that'd be kind of cute. We'll do some stuff in here too. Alright, let's head down to the chickens and see how the baby chickens so are So I investigated and found out who brought this chicken here. It was this crazy man. He um, came in my yard and he dropped this chicken off down at the chicken coop. He painted it up and everything. Yeah, it's my father-in-law. He actually painted it and everything. He did a good job, didn't he? So we've moved it right here so we could see it because it's pretty cute. He's got a wire on his head. Oh my. Oh goodness. Never know around here. I live with some crazy people on this hill. Hey chickens. Look at these little cuties. Mama does not like to hear them. She gets all in a tizzy. I just want to get some pictures. Anybody wants to see them. Brought y'all some water. Now y'all drink out of your water. This is for the baby. I don't think they care. Holly, Goldie, Ruby, Queenie. I guess I need to give these little babies a name, too. Let's try to get a few more shots of these little keys. Probably four. 
Queenie will probably start laying in about, I don't know, a month or so. When she weans her babies. Yep, four eggs. Well, I still have okra left in the garden. Look at it. Blooming like crazy and about 12 feet tall. Good grief. Trying to make its way up to heaven or something. Lots of blooms. Goodness. My tomatoes are about done down here. There's still actually tomatoes on here. I, I guess I could get some of them all. Looks like some deer prints. The deer are definitely enjoying them. So we've come up with another spot next year for a bigger garden. Um, we're going to do a few things differently where, where we plant stuff. We're going to plant some more corn. But we're going to plant out here in this big spot. And we're going to do a bunch more rows of corn. At least I know we're going to do a bunch of tomatoes again. Beans, onions, radishes, different things like that. And then over there, we're going to have like a watermelon, cantaloupe, pumpkin area. So that's the plan. And then I think right over here by the woodshed at the end of my little raised bed garden, I'm going to do like all sunflowers this year. And then up through here, I may do like all zinnias. Love my zinnias. I don't know. I'll have time to think it over the winter, like what I'm going to do with these beds right up in here. I kind of want to do like flowers and stuff like that up here because I'll have lots of veggies and fruit down there. I mean, look, my flowers are still going. They're just beautiful. Love them. And my husband is going to be working on the woodshed tomorrow on his day off. So he got this window in, which looks really good. He finally got, he got his plywood up. So he's got the week off next week and he is going to be finishing this up, I do believe. He's gonna make some doors and hang them. I think it's like a big door area right here. So I'll vlog that and let you guys see how he does it. He's really good with woodworking. And then he's got like another project after that, my sister-in-law. She's wanting some end tables and he's gonna make those. So that'll be really cool to watch him do and see how they turn out. I know they'll turn out awesome. But he's got like a little window back here. Very cool. Probably do some shelving in here and stuff like that. We're also going to make another area for my pellets. Like over there under our porch. Like a little enclosed area with a little gate on it. Like the one beside where my garbage is. So I think that'll be cool. I'll have a nice spot and it won't interfere with the wood over here. And plus it'll be closer to my greenhouse, which is good. All right, let's take a peek at these beans and see where we're at here on the progress. Bean progress. They've got lots of little buds. I think I actually saw some down in here yesterday. Okay, so here's one. Not quite big enough yet, but now these are getting pretty close. So this is like a a bush variety of bean. They don't have to be staked up. I did not know that when I first planted it, but pretty cool. They're also stringless. More peppers growing. Oh, that one's getting big. I've got banana peppers. I may get around to that this weekend to do a brine for those. And then we got more beans, more beans. I'll probably water these tonight. Um, since we do have rains coming probably in the next few days, I won't have to do that, but yeah, they'll probably be ready for picking next week, I would say. Everything's going good. I'm headed in and I'll see you guys in a All bit. Right, I'm back down to my basement again. It's the last thing I'm going to do on my list today. <sighs> I'm a mess. I just got done cleaning my chicken coop. So when you go down there at night, you like notice all these cobwebs and stuff that you don't notice during the middle of the day. So I was like, well, I think I'll go bring my blower down there and just blow all of them out. I don't know, but I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> it was like a dust storm of like, I don't even know what blowing in the air. I did have a mask on, that's why I've got this here. And like, 
goggles and all this stuff. I probably look like some crazy person if anybody'd seen me. Luckily it was dark, they didn't. But I mean, there was just like a plume of stuff going everywhere. So I don't even know if it helped or not. By the time I left, I couldn't see anything. And, it, and it's like super dark out, so I don't know if it helped. In the morning, I'll look and see what kind of catastrophe I probably created down there. The chickens were like all going everywhere too. It was just a hot mess. Okay, so I'm down in my basement and I am gonna retrieve the seeds. And these, this stuff never floated to the top, but it looks like it separated. And they have been in here the same amount of days as this one, which did float to the top. Some of the seeds are actually floating. So I'm going to take these over here and separate them in my strainer, wash them, and put them on a paper towel, and then put them on a slick surface to dry so they won't stick to it like I was telling you guys on the last video. Ooh, that does not smell good. No, 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 no. Pour them in here. Shoot. Ooh. No. No, no, no. Alright, so just take a wooden spoon and separate that gelatin stuff. It really came off pretty good. I'm actually going to let them dry on this paper plate because I think this will work just fine. Alright, last jar. Alright, we've got them on here. I'm going to write the name. I didn't have bell pepper, so I want to erase that because that would be a little oopsie. They need to dry for a couple weeks, at least, in a cool, you know, not not in sunlight or anything like that. So, my basement is a good spot for these things to dry out. I do a lot of my seed drying under here. I've got sunflowers going on, zinnias, coreopsis, more sunflower succulents, all kinds of other little stuff comb flowers. I have cantaloupe. I have lots of vegetables from the garden I've already done. And I've got mine organized in this little container right here. Got this at Walmart in like the photo department, but it works great for seeds. You can organize them up really good. Now that's it for tonight. I'm headed in to get my shower and probably do some stuff in the greenhouse tomorrow and help my husband with the woodshed and all that good stuff. Hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and see you soon.